it's time now to uh, vlog and vlog another amazing magician service, another amazing magician from the 80s and 90s service, the great magician service, the great Hans Moretti, the bold German magician, yes he was a big, bold, big, big, fat, big, big German magician service, this vlog and vlog the next few minutes or so, the amazing idol of my childhood service, I loved him, the great escapologist and uh, kind of illusionist and dangerous Hans Moretti, let's go with this, check this out, here we're going to go. German guy, his wife was called Helga Moretti, big, big lady as well, so he's a big, really big people from Germany basically, a big German guy, Hans Moretti he was called, I'm so Hans Moretti, you know, a big moustache, he's bald head, big kind of tall, so big guy seriously, he's a lovely guy seriously, he's watching on television right now as always, amazing guy seriously, now Hans Moretti was really a brilliant magician, he was born in 1928, okay, and he died about 2013, sadly about 8, 85 years old or so, very old guy seriously, a lovely guy seriously, he's a lovely child manager, I did meet him years ago, about 30 odd years ago, he performed at Blackpool Opera House or something about 30 years ago, and he was there performing, sort of performing in front of me, doing the old crossbow routine. This guy was an amazing illusionist. He was a dangerous illusionist. He was a conjurer, a magician. He was also a composer as well. So he had an awful lot of magic in his kind of um, reservoir, re reservoir of magical talent, basically. He really was a lot of stuff he did in his CV, basically. He was a really great, great magician, seriously. Now, of course, Hans Brett, you might remember him being very dangerous. Hans Brett, he did stuff that was that, so dangerous, you and me should never do it, seriously. It's so dangerous. This guy was trained in circuses. He performed in the night forwards and 50s, that kind of stuff. He learned his craft, okay, during, over the years. In Germany, he did lots of cabaret around the world kind of stuff, got really famous and performed, performed on television shows back in the 80s and 90s particular, okay, doing really weird stunts and kind of illusions, mainly kind of a bit of magic and awful dangerous stuff, seriously. Now, of course, he's very famous for doing an escape, an escape, of course, a burning kind of rope, like Alan did, like uh, Houdini did, burning escape rope, kind of hanging from a burning rope upside down, it would be thrown down flames above sort of a whole bed of knives sort of thing, you know what I mean? So if he fell off the rope, he fell on a knife sort of thing. That kind of stuff he would do, those kind of illusions, you know what I mean? Very dangerous kind of illusions of fire, that kind of stuff. But his main kind of thing was crossbows. He used to get cross supposed to fire them at various objects and that kind of stuff or he'd be chained up basically to a kind of a a kind of a, a, a target sort of thing and he'd be chained up to it and he'd have a crossbow on a timer basically and they'd get out of the chains in time and luckily he was just literally get out of the chains in time the crossbow would fire off on the timer and he would move his head down and the crossbow would go right past his head basically just miss his head basically just by just by literally about an inch or so he was really a dangerous guy this guy literally would the, the crossbow arrow would literally miss his head by an inch basically and did, did escapes it's really amazing seriously at the moment this guy was born in 1928 so a long time ago so this guy was pretty old when he actually finished his career in fact i think uh, helga died before him actually and he died alone back in 2013, very sad indeed, because he was a great guy. Now let's have a look at the first illusion. The first illusion, okay, he did, he was very famous as a career, it was called Bell, Book and Candle, okay. This is a levitation actually, he did, called Bell, Book and Candle. He had a, you have, have a bell, you have a book, you candle based on a book, basically, you put upright. And you have a girl, normally Helga, will levitate on top of this candle, basically. There's a little candle there, and the, be the girl will levitate on top of the candle, and make stuff serious there, okay. She floats off the candle. Really weird illusion, it goes back to about mid 19th century, back to we'll be who done again. Famous nice and magician from Paris, who did an amazing levitation on this as well. So this is a great levitation. So sit back, relax, and watch a bit of this amazing levitation now of Hans Moretti doing an amazing bell book and candle levitation, okay, back in the 1980s with Helga, okay, and the beautiful illusion, very baffling, okay, very mystical illusion. Check this out, it's pretty amazing.
Texture, but above the candle, basically, the candle's litty. Just she just kind of floats the candle. Very tr amazing illusion, isn't it? That footage about 40 years old, seriously, very old indeed, isn't it? So it goes to show you from 40 years later how magic stands the test of time. How Hans Brecht was so good to us, wasn't he? And obviously, you kind of realise how good he was and how impressive that illusion really was. It was a beautiful illusion. Next, next thing we're going to do, have a look at, I think we'll do is crossbow illusion. Crossbow illusions, he did many, many crossbow illusions. I remember sitting in the opera house in Blackpool about 30 odd years ago, about 22 years old, and watching the front row Hans Brecht doing the crossbow illusion. Everyone was like, oh my god, you know, this is scary stuff, seriously. It really was scary. He had real crossbows. He used to escape, say, from a target and chain to a target sort of thing, escape from the target before the crossbow fired and hit him. Luckily, he always dodged the bullet. You know, what I mean? Dodds did crossbows, it was always okay. Imagine that going through your skull, seriously. Literally missing your head by a, little, a half an inch or something, seriously. This is really freaky stuff, freaky stuff. Now, on this bit of video I show right now, this is an amazing illusion. What he does is he faces, he gets Helga. Helga's a big lady, lovely big lady, beautiful, imagine she's a brilliant person, seriously. She's on stage in front of a target, she's got an apple on her head, basically. Like, uh, apple on her head, basically, like Isaac Newton. Ha apple on her head, holds it there on her head. And he gets a crossbow and he faces away from her. He's blindfolded, okay? All right, facing the wrong way, puts crossbow over his shoulder, okay, and fires the crossbow into the apple on her head, okay, without even seeing it, okay. Remember, he's blindfolded, facing the wrong way, the crossbow over his, over his shoulder, okay, shoots the crossbow into the apple that's on Helga's head. It's amazing, I don't have to, it's amazing, I don't have to say it's amazing stuff. This is him to do, this is professional magical illusion. Don't try this at home, this apple catch. Really weird, it's amazing stuff, seriously. So sit back, relax now and watch. The amazing and very dangerous apple shoot, okay, he does, with Helga Moretti, blindfolded face the wrong way. This is done back in the 1990s on the Secret Show in the UK. Check this really dangerous bit of magic out right now. It's really amazing, seriously.
I don't know how it does it, seriously. Over the shoulder, into the apple, amazing of Cersei, isn't it? And that's what the routines do. He did many, many routines. There are some routines on YouTube with him, actually. It's hard to get hold of them, unfortunately, because some of them are deleted. They're not, they're not available for some reason. Maybe because they're quite dangerous. But a lot of the routines you can't get hold of. Because there are many, many routines he did with crossbows. But getting back up 40 odd years. So he did a lot of crossbow routines, seriously. Now, we're going to move from crossbows and get off the dangerous stuff and tell us something. He also did a very famous and my kind of cabinet routine. The big sword, sword box, basically. Classic sword box, go back to 9th century. It has a bit to get inside a big box, basically, a big brown box, basically. It's about 50 knives, a bit of 50 swords, basically. And how good going to push the swords through the box, okay? So the box is literally peppered with swords, okay? All right? Amazing stuff, isn't it? And then they pull all the swords out, okay? And that would pop hands right here, dressed as a clown, okay? Costume change. And right he also have chicken with him, he'd have a duck with him, he'd have a goose with him. And also pop out of the box as well. And this is really, I mean, how is this done? Seriously, this is amazing. I think he won an international award back in the 1970s, this, at the FISM. The Olympics of Magic. But if I say I'm here, physics called back here over the Far East, a big thing called physics and the Olympics of Magic, basically. And he, I think, won the one of the big prize for solution because this illusion really stunning, seriously. How he does it, how he gets the ducks and stuff in the box, how he gets the chicken out of the box, how he does the costume change, how he gets, how he avoids the knives. I don't know, seriously. Even 34 years later, after I saw this, it's back in 1987 actually, when I first saw this, uh, even I could see it as myself. It's really impressive, seriously. So do check this out now. This is the really stunning and amazing. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Even I'm still afraid now. Look at this. And look at check out again now this amazing, stunning version of the Adam production, the costume change, and the amazing sword box that my hands are Helga Moretti back about 1987. Check this out. <laughs> So very impressive illusion D. This is dangerous magic, okay. This guy, apparently this guy has to say, did a lot of dangerous magic. I'm gonna tell you one little story because basically I know back in the 1980s, Paul Daniels didn't tell me this. Paul Daniels, who's di died of course now. He told me that uh, Hans Moretti was a great guy, lovely guy. Hans Moretti was so tough and so hard, right? He would he would actually have accidents and carry on filming and just have to, be, have, to have an accident, okay. He was doing a burning rope, 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 r
Apparently he fell, right? The rope snapped, he fell 100 feet to concrete, basically, apparently. When the hospital, got out of bed a few days later with a big sort of thing on him, basically, you know, with a big sort of cast on him, went back to do cabaret, can you says he also uh, was doing a catching bullet routine, and the bullet, the, 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 he kind of caught, caught the bullet, basically, in his mouth, but a bit of shrapnel went in his eye, and actually in his eye really badly, and he had to have an eye operation, then he had the eye patch for a bit, then he actually went back to the hospital, and then after the hospital, went straight to do cabaret again. This guy's really hard as nuts, this guy's hard, this guy's, this guy's higher than nuts, this guy says, it's, it's amazing, I don't know how he does it, says you. But he actually, I think apparently he did a show where he turned up, where he had a, he had like a big cast on his body, basically. One of those big cast on his body, he, he, he hurt his back or something. He had, had, a, he had the eye patch on his eye, basically, from his eye being injured with, with the eye operation kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But he took the eye patch off, took the cast off his body, okay, went did, did a cabaret show, right, including the burn of rope escape, right? And after doing all that, right, he put the cast back on, eye patch back on, and went back into the back, back, you know, back home, basically, having done a whole cabaret show, taking off his eye patch and taking off his cast. This guy's so tough, seriously. How tough is this guy, seriously? Could you do that? I don't know if I could do it, seriously. These solutions are, you don't, you should do these solutions. Don't say you do them, okay? Tough solutions, burn a rope escape, don't do it, okay? One of his classic illusions, okay, he did it over a set of kind of burnt up knives, basically. That's how scary, this is how tough he was, okay. He did burn the ropes over knives, before Copperfield did it years and years later, okay. Um, he, he did stuff like, he did, he did stuff, I say, like escaping from um, chains and crossbows, he did stuff like that. He did stuff, of course, with levitations, and he also did stuff, of course, like the massive sword box. Dangerous kind of magic, seriously. Don't try it at home, seriously. Good stuff you can do, <clears throat> but not do that kind of magic, seriously. Stick to normal magic, basically. So this is the, this is a kind of warning to you not to do the contracts, basically. So I wouldn't recommend doing the contracts, but seriously, Matty died about the mid, mid 80s, I think it was. He was about uh, 2013, died basically. So he was a quite uh, old when he died, but lovely guy, seriously, from Germany, okay. What a guy, what a performer, one amazing guy, seriously. I love him, seriously. He did a lot of cabarets around Europe, around the world. He performed, I think, from Las Vegas as well, billed as Europe's best magician, apparently, in Las Vegas, apparently, back in the day. So he did a lot, a lot of performances, Las Vegas, Europe, cruise ships, and a lot of them pulled down the show in the UK as well, over the 1980s. So I think he's also won about 10, about 20 world records as well, seriously, in various areas. He's also got three kids who've followed him to do magic after he's died. They're all magicians as well, apparently, after Hans Brecht died about uh, eight years, nine years ago. So they've gone and performed even after Hans Brecht died, basically, the kids still performed Magic. So, ha so ha hats, hats off, I say, hats off to the Hamratti family for doing amazing performances and, and hats off to Hans Hamratti, you're a brilliant magician, you're Hans, seriously, wherever you are, Hans, you're a great magician and you entertain us for years and years and years, brilliantly, seriously. And I love the crossbow, crossbow routine I saw when I was a kid, seriously, I love the crossbow routine, whatever routine that is, seriously. As I say to you out here, don't play a crossbow, seriously, okay? I'd love, to, I'd love that very much, Dean, seriously. Please go check out the videos. There's many, many videos of Hans Moretti, okay? Hans Moretti out there. Please go click the links below for 100 odd videos of Magic Up to Chat Lugia. There are 100 odd videos of Magic Illusion myself, seriously. Check the video out, please do as well, okay? And also, okay, please remember to subscribe, okay? Please hit the subscribe button, help the channel out, please do, okay? I want to bring more magic to you, so please hit subscribe so I can bring more magic to you, basically, as well. Please do that, okay? Help the channel out, please do. Look after yourselves another few days, please do, okay? I've got many uh, videos coming out, including I've got Racing 30, and I've got, uh, also I've got stuff, okay, to do with um, Mystical Magic with Pyramids and Mystical Magic with Temples, so please check the videos out, please do, okay? Many videos out there on my channel, please do, Magic Mike 1, 2, 2. Look after yourselves for a few more days, okay? Please subscribe and see again very soon for some more magic can chat secrets and illusions see you later on bye for now